Welcome to this video. Today we will be testing Zamana, which is an anti-malware program, and we will be testing the premium version, which means it will have real-time protection. And I do have a folder of some samples of malware, 20 in total, so keep that number in mind. We're going to test to see if Zamana can successfully protect us against these 20 samples. Just a brief overview of the procedure. In a moment, I'm going to enable Zamana. Right now it's turned off, but I'm going to enable it. Let it sit for just a few minutes, see if it detects anything on its own, after which I will then run a scan, a full system scan, and then scan the folder directly. And then if there's any samples left, we will try to execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them from executing. Please be aware that both Windows 10 and Zamana are up to date as of right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off by enabling Zamana. So we're gonna go ahead and check these boxes. Again, we're gonna let it sit here for just a few moments to see if it does or does not detect anything. All right, so I let it sit here for just a moment. So far, nothing has popped up, letting us know that it's detected anything. And so if we actually check our samples folder, it looks like all 20 are still in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a scan and we'll be back in just a moment with the results. All right, the scan has completed and it looks like it detected multiple results. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. And then let's go ahead and check our samples folder and see what's left. So there's only two items left, so that's, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and scan the folder directly. All right, that scan completed and it still did not detect those last two. So what we're going to do is try to execute these remaining samples. Now keep in mind, Windows Defender is deactivated. The only protection on this computer right now is Zamana. So we'll see if it uh, does or does not detect these last two. So let's start with the first one. And we're also going to try the second one as well. All right, so far nothing's popped up. It doesn't look like these are going through, but they also have not been removed. So what we're going to do is we're going to restart the computer and then we're going to run some second opinion scans to see if anything got through. So we'll be back in just a moment. After a computer restart, I ran a scan with Malwarebytes and it did come back with two detections. So we're going to go ahead and quarantine these. And because it detected those, what we're going to do is go ahead and restart again and then we will check our samples. All right, the computer has restarted and let's go ahead and check our samples folder and it is now empty. So even though it looks like everything's been detected, I'm still going to run the other second opinion scans just to be thorough. So we'll be back with those results. I ran a scan with MZSoft and it came back clean with zero results detected. I also ran a scan with Hitman Pro and it also came back clean with zero results detected. Now to recap, on the initial scan, Zamana did detect 18 of the 20 samples. It failed to detect two even on execution, which Malwarebytes did pick up. One of those was a Trojan. So Judge that the way you want to. Keep in mind that this is just one type of test. There are many other types of tests that must be done to fully understand and know how good or bad an anti-malware or antivirus software is. Also, please keep in mind that the best antivirus on the planet is you, the user. There is no software program out there that can babysit you better than you. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.